Hey, what's going on? Shane with the 5 to 9 Creator. Today I'm going to show you a common error that a lot of creators get when they're trying to export their projects from CapCut for PC. It's going to say something like there's a pro feature, you have to buy this before you can actually export your video. Now, a lot of times you already know if there's like a pro feature on your content, but I have made the mistake so many times of not knowing that there's a pro feature making some sort of modification to my timeline and I can't export the project until I buy it the pro version, or I figure out how to remove the pro effect. So if you've never seen this before, or maybe you have seen this before and it's super frustrating, when you go to export, you're gonna see something that says join pro before you can export, right? It'll say pro benefits, one item. Um, I don't know if it'll actually show you where that item is. Uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I've It's been hit or miss, it's kind of a frustrating issue. But typically if you can't export it will say something like join pro in order to export. So I just so happen to know this effect is a pro effect. And all you have to do is remove that. And I go back to uh, export again. And it's going to say join pro still, which is kind of interesting. Oh, I got to turn off this caption exporting. Boom. And I'm done. So a lot of times I wish there was a feature where it could show you where you're using pro effects because if you're like me, you make mistakes. Sometimes you select a pro effect just to see what it is and it applies it to your project and then you lose sight of where it is and it gets frustrating. But unfortunately, you have to go through your project, figure out what pro effect you're using and then take that out in order to export. I know it's frustrating, but it's just kind of part of the deal. Try never to use pro effects unless you're planning on purchasing the pro feature. So anyway, hope that's helpful. If you have any more questions on how to solve problems in CapCut 4 PC, put it in the comment section down below. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me about how to use CapCut 4 PC, make sure to subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you in a future video.